There's a couple of stories that are hilarious about Gingrich. Apparently, in 2005 and 2006, his wife, and I want you to get confused here, his most recent wife, Calista, this is the one that he was boinking when he was on that trip to, uh, I think it was to Kosovo or to Rome, after he visited the Pope. His wife was in one room. He boinked his assistant in the other uh, at like 1 in the morning. At least he spent some time. I'm sure there was some cuddling. That's appropriate, at least. Don't be rude. Don't be rude to your mistress, particularly if you're going to marry her after you drop your present wife. So 2005, 2006, she's working for... Um, she works for the government, apparently, the House Agricultural Committee until 2007. So she had to list, she had to have financial disclosures for any revolving credit over, over $10,000. She revealed that her husband owed between $250,000 to $500,000 to Tiffany's. Hey, what happened? Wow! <laughs> Ooh! Oh. I, 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 wait, wait, what? The dude owes almost a half a million dollars to Tiffany's? Like most Americans. Listen, a lot of people want to know, Matt, why, why is that possible? And, and it's, it's quite simple. When you have screwed over so many of your wives by sleeping around with other women, the, the necessity to spend $500,000 on jewelry seems quite obvious. I think you could also probably, uh, I think you could also probably find that he probably owes like something like uh, $1.3 million to a uh, chocolate uh, sales uh, chocolate store and flowers. So uh, Gingrich, um, that's just one story that's sort of funny. Here's Gingrich, who, here he is on <laughs> Meet the Press this past Sunday, talking about how radical uh, the Ryan plan is. But remember now, he is basically saying that the Ryan plan is so nuts, so radical, so dramatically changes Medicare that he can't sign on to it. This is the exact plan that the entire Republican caucus in the House, minus I think one or two people, voted for. I don't think right-wing social engineering is any more desirable than left-wing social engineering. I don't think imposing radical change from the right or the left is a very good way for free society to operate. I think we need a national conversation to get to a better Medicare system with more choices for seniors. But there are specific things you can do. Uh, at the Center for Health Transformation, which I helped found, we published a book called Stop Paying the Crooks. We thought that was oh. a clear enough, simple awesome. enough idea, even for Washington. Now, you, I don't know if you picked up on this. This is also a veiled attack on Governor Rick Scott of Florida, who was one of the largest Medicare crooks in the history of the entire program. His company had to pay a $1.3 billion dollar fine. And he took the fifth in these uh, hearings something like 50 times. Continue. We thought that was a clear enough, simple enough idea, even for Washington. Well, there are things you can do to improve Medicare. But not what Paul Ryan is suggesting, which I, is I think completely that, I changing think, Medicare. I think that that is too big a jump. I think what you want to have is a system where people voluntarily migrate to better outcomes, better solutions, better options, not one where you suddenly impose upon you. I don't want to, I, I'm against Obamacare, which is imposing radical change, and I would be against a conservative imposing radical change. So uh, this man who um, has the, the deep integrity that a serial um, adulterer always exhibits, uh, but uh, I should say, it's not his, his leaving his wives. Remember, he did it because of, because of the country. He did it for the country because he was so patriotic that he, it made him sleep with other women. Um, and we were all, I, I remember when I was young, before I was married, how much I loved the country and how much that forced me to, at the very least, attempt to sleep with women um, at bars <laughs> when I was drunk. 
Um, so here he is, crapping over the Ryan Care plan, and what what are we now? Thirty six hours later, forty eight hours later, and here he goes with his tail between his legs because he apparently stepped on a landmine. Here he is on the Greta Van Susteren show last night. So let me say on the record. Any ad which quotes what I said on Sunday is a falsehood. And because I have said publicly, those words were inaccurate and unfortunate, and I'm prepared to stand up. And when I make a mistake, and I'm going to on occasion, I'm going to stand up and share with the American people that was a mistake, because that way we can have an honest conversation. So wait a second. Wait, play that again. This is stunning. Any, any ad that uses those words is a lie. So let me say, on the record, on any the record. ad which quotes Hold on, what stop I said on Sunday. Because you understand that when he was on that national, on the, uh, <laughs> a much higher rated show, on that national show, when he reiterated, because you heard that beep in between the, uh, the two clips from Meet the Press, he, he said it twice. And, and, you know, we just played whatever, a minute 40 of him on Meet the Press. Unedited, except for jumping to those two things. He didn't say anything different. You can go watch it. So when he was on the record that time, he's on the record this time. I'm going to go back on the record to say the last time I was on the record was not on the record. And if you use that record, then I am on the record now as saying that's a lie. <laughs> Anybody who uses me on the record prior to my being on the record now is telling a lie. And anybody who uses me on the record now, when I go on the record in the future, Looking back on this record, looking back on that record, you're despicable. Let's play this. So let me say, on the record, any ad which quotes what I said on Sunday is a falsehood. And because I have said publicly, those words were inaccurate and unfortunate, and I'm prepared to stand up. When I make a mistake, and I'm going to on occasion, I'm going to stand up and share with the American people that was a mistake, because that way we can have an honest conversation. Now, the clip we just played just right then was actually a clip from Greta Van Susteren today when he was talking about the clip from yesterday. He just repeated the same thing. <laughs> this guy's fantastic. He's so fun. I'm so glad he's running. Um, and I know, it's uh, what's the relevant, but it's just too, it's too precious.